Hey guys, welcome back to ABR and Posse G in Callus Invitational 3 Round 4 Winner's Bracket Action. We will get right back into the set. Posse G did win Game 1. We'll switch the sides for continuity. Posse will again be on the bottom. ABR on the top. And they both had Zapdos lead last time. Now they both have Titar lead. Posse doesn't like the matchup, and he goes to his water, and ABR willing to stay in. He goes Hidden Power Grass there, and he's going to nail the Swampert on the 4x weakness for 70% right on turn 1. And the only thing Posse's going to do is he's going to go for Protect here and get some lefties back, but strictly advantageous start for ABR, who's really given up nothing in order to do this. He's going to switch it up to Flamethrower now, thinking something like a Skarm or a Gengar that would resist that HP Grass is going to come in. But instead, it's just a Blissey, which would take any special attack pretty well. And it's going to be a switch now to Skarm for ABR. There's a Wish, which he's going to attempt to pass to Swampert, of course. See if ABR whirlwinds immediately to prevent that. He does not. He's willing to let the Swampert receive the Wish in exchange for definitely getting the spike down. He can get another spike down if he pleases here because Swampert is not all that threatening. Instead, ABR opts for Toxic. That does not work out as the immunity Gengar comes in, so the second layer would have been better in hindsight, but he didn't know that, of course. And now Blissey comes in, so Skarm Bliss from ABR. That seems to be the fallback tried and true kind of archetype to run, especially when players are down a game. They default to something very sturdy like that. That's been a very common trend throughout the tour. There's Taunt from Posse G that is going to still allow Drill Pack, but anything else the Scar might want to do is going to be shut off, and he's simply going to get out of the way. Blissey comes in. It will be burnt by Will-O-Wisp on the way in. We've seen Wow Taunt usually on this set the last two moves are T-Bolt and Ice Punch, but we cannot confirm that right now. The Gengar has not actually attacked yet. And there's Taunt on T-Tar. This could go badly, Special Tar may have Crunch or Pursuit here. We know he's got Flamethrower HP Grass. There's Will-O-Wisp. And there is Ice Beam. 33%, not a huge deal. Now Posse's got to wonder if he tries to flee, will the last move be Pursuit or can he simply get out of the way here? And he does try to get out of the way. The Pursuit does not come. It is just another Ice Beam attempt. So we still don't know the last move for T-Tower, but he's not shown Pursuit. Instead, we have a T-Tar who's burnt but otherwise healthy against a Blissey who seemingly walls it completely. And there is Softboiled here. Skarmory is going to switch into that, try to get more spikes up. There's no reason to believe that Blissey is threatening to it right now. Cloyster comes in. There's Spike Slayer number two. Cloyster might be threatening a spin here, but there could be a Toxic or a Gengar if he does that. I hate the taunt. Taunt isn't going to stop Rapid Spin, but Posse didn't go for it. Posse did try to spike up, so the taunt is going to work this time. Toxic missing here. That's real bad. And again, he just doesn't go for Rapid Spin. He goes Ice Beam here. He's really thinking that there's going to be a Gengar from ABR, but there simply has not been. He does get a Lucky Freeze, and finally Gengar comes in now to block the Rapid Spin at the perfect time. Posse G not able to pull the trigger the first two times, and when ABR finally convinces him that he doesn't have it, Posse G goes for it and is wrong. So Mind Games won by ABR, simply outplaying him there. He'll sneak Dugtrio in on T-Tar as well. He's going to go for it from 90%. He's going to deck him for 87%, but it's going to come up short. Fire Blast, however, is not going to be good enough. He would have needed a burn or a crit there, and he did not get it. And as such, the Retaliation Earthquake, the second Earthquake, is going to take out T-Tar for the first knockout of the game, and ABR will be in the lead. Here comes Gengar attempting to do some punishment. Blissey comes in, as it has been. Thunderbolt there. I'm not sure what that was aimed at. I guess the Bliss, but Will-O-Wisp still seems better there. Maybe the T-Tar was the target there? It could have been that. Maybe thinking that he didn't want to go Will-O-Wisp into the T-Tar that's already burnt. I'm okay with that explanation. But it does not do a whole heck of a lot to Bliss, and she's going to fire off an Ice Beam now. She sees herself staring down Cloyster. Gengar comes in to block a Rapid Spin attempt, and it is finally a layer of spikes for Posse G, who's been unable to whether it is because of prediction or because of taunt or what have you, to get any spikes down prior to this point. But he finally does get a lair, and it looks like it should stick around. I, I'd really be surprised if the last poke were a spinner for ABR. It is probably just Swampert. 
Here comes Skarm, still frozen. That's trying to thaw out. Maybe that's another reason Posse didn't Will-O-Wisp. He didn't want to accidentally thaw the Skarm. Wish comes down. He's going to try to pass that to Cloyster, who goes to 47% as he comes in. And Skarm does not thaw, so Posse does get that Wish, and Cloyster regains health. So now he's got an opportunity for a second lair, or to Ice Beam the Gar on the way in, or to attempt a Rapid Spin if he thinks that Gengar is not coming in. And he does take the very safe route that'll be good no matter what it is that ABR does by simply spiking again. So both players with two layers now. Here comes Bliss. Will-O-Wisp going to miss. See what they both want to do. We know that it's a WoW Taunt Gar. So it can prevent Soft Boiled here if that's what he wants to do. And that is the play that he goes for. And that is what Posse went for. So... Good taunt there. Gonna prevent the soft boiled. Granted, I don't know if ABR can actually threaten the Blissey, but it's a good start. And he goes to his own Blissey here to eat the Ice Beam. Smart play. This is gonna be a free soft boiled turn from ABR. Granted, it might be for Posse as well, but I think ABR benefits more from it, so I think that's a fine play. In comes Cloyster, and it is the obvious soft boiled. So Cloyster, again, is going to have an option. Do you go layer number three? Do you try to Ice Beam into the guard? Do you Rapid Spin? He did, in fact, have a Rapid Spin opportunity here, but he did not take it. He's going to eat a Toxic in exchange for establishing layer number three of Spikes. And like I said, I think ABR's last poke is going to be Swampert, so I believe those Spikes are there to stay. And at least three, if not four, Pokemon are vulnerable to them. So Posse does finally get that established. That being said, Posse is still down a poke here. Will-O-Wisp there is not going to try to prevent the soft boil because the taunt is so obvious he thinks he's just going to be attacked anyway. So he goes for WoW, but he's going to miss. Ice Beam is what Posse went for. Here's Will-O-Wisp again. And it's Ice Beam again, thinking again that it would just be a taunt anyway. So there's no point of attempting soft boil. But Posse did have the opportunity twice there to go for soft boil. And now Gengar may actually taunt it to make it so he can't. That's probably the play. No, he goes Thunderbolt here. He's going to catch a previously unrevealed Aerodactyl on the way in. Pretty good damage there. 74%, but the arrow is faster and is very threatening here. Would knock out the Gengar with Rock Slide or HP Flying. He does go Rock Slide, and unsurprisingly, the last Pokemon is the Swampert for ABR. That's going to meet the Poison Cloister. He's got to step on two layers on the way in. He's going to take 20% from Surf despite resisting it, thanks to its crappy natural special defense. And it's going to be on ABR to react to this. Is he anticipating boom? Is he anticipating spin? It was an ice beam attempt, thinking Gengar might come in. But the Cloyster does have one more turn before perishing, assuming it can live a surf here, which is not a guarantee. Here comes Gengar. He does not want to let a rapid spin happen. And instead, it's a stab ice beam, and he's rewarded with a crit. ABR loses his Gengar to that critical hit. And we have got ourselves a 5-5 game. However... The Cloyster is going to succumb to the poison here, making it 5-4 and making it so those spikes are not going to go away for Posse. So both players are going to be stuck with the spikes that we have down. ABR could potentially even get a third layer down. Will-O-Wisp here is attempted on Pert. He's going to protect against that. Gain lefties back up to 64%. Will-O-Wisp is going to miss again from Posse G. There's a Surf. 35% there. Gengar not looking like he can live another. Last move could be a Grass Attack, but it's very unlikely. And he does just go Will-O-Wisp again. That's going to result in the Retaliation Fatal Surf. Down goes Gengar, and ABR takes the lead once again. Or furthers his lead, rather. He was up 5-4. to four. He's now up 5-3. to three. His Swampert is burnt here against the opposing Swampert that is not burned. His Skarm also has not thawed. But despite being frozen, it still manages to nimbly avoid the attack here. I think frozen Pokemon should not be able to avoid attacks. Or it should be worded differently. It should be worded that the attacking Pokemon missed rather than the defensive Pokemon avoided it. Because that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But that nitpick aside, the Hydro Pump does not connect. Dugtrio fodders itself here via the spikes. It's going to prevent a soft-boiled from the Blissey. Smart play from ABR, but can his largely special tar actually kill the Blissey from 22%? I don't know that it can. 
Brick Break comes up short thanks to that burn, and Blissey gets the soft boiled off. So good play on principle for ABR. He had the right idea, but he was not able to capitalize on it because of the burn. He was just too weak, and he's now going to go Ice Beam. Blissey gets a second soft boiled off, and Posse is very comfortable once again. Blissey very healthy, and the T-Tar getting less and less healthy every turn thanks to the burn. Bliss comes in here, steps on spikes. There's Wish from Bliss. Swampert doesn't need it. Aerodactyl would definitely take it at 26%. Not going to risk it, though. Doesn't want to get the Aerodactyl ice beamed on the way in. Toxic there also would have connected with the arrow had it switched, but it didn't. It's going to connect with Bliss. Put a little bit of a clock on her, but better on her than on arrow, obviously. It's an obvious soft-boiled turn for ABR. See how Posse wants to punish that. He goes to his own Swampert. And there is the soft boiled. So the scum for ABR is at 100%, but is yet to thaw. The Cheetar is very low, 38% and burnt. So it's basically dead. The spikes on the burn are real bad for it. And then we have the burnt Swampert as well for ABR at 64%. So even though ABR is air quotes winning this game 4-3, to three, I don't know that he's actually winning this game. I, I think this can go either way because two of ABR's Pokemon, the Cheetar and the... I mean, both the Skarm and the Swampert, really, for different reasons, but at least two of the Pokemon for ABR are really not in good shape. The T-Tower, like I said, is basically dead, and then we have a Burnt Poke and a Frozen Poke, respectively, so we'll see how it plays out, but even though ABR is ahead on paper, I think this game can still go either way. Softboiled happens from Posse. He will have to switch out eventually as that Toxic ticks down. We'll see if ABR could take advantage of that, however. I'm not sure if his plan is to try to thaw the Skarm, or if he's going to try to just fight the good fight with Blissey, or if he's going to try to Toxic something else when the Blissey inevitably switches, since both the Pert and the Aerodactyl are vulnerable to that and don't have a status effect on them right now. Is Posse just going to let his Bliss die? No, he gets out of the way at this point. Here comes Swampert. I assume it's just a Toxic. No. A strange soft-boiled there. I don't know why for ABR. He had plenty of HP. I don't know what the point of soft-boiled was there. But that's what he decides to do. Here comes Earthquake. And now it's a toxic attempt. But it's going to be a swing and a miss. I still don't know why there wasn't a toxic on the switch. That really seems peculiar to me. It just seems like a wasted soft-boiled the turn prior. There's Earthquake. And soft-boiled comes down now. But yeah, I think, it's, I think it's a miss on two levels. I think not only did he miss the opportunity to land Toxic on the Switch, but I think he also wasted a soft-boiled PP, which very well could end up mattering here if the plan for Posse is just to sit in here and spam Earthquake. Then I think he's going to need all the soft-boileds he can get, though this is another opportunity to fling a Toxic here. Earthquake 33%. That's just a weird soft boiled. I mean, ABR is playing uber conservative. I would have gone toxic there and then started spamming the soft boils, but he sees it differently. Earthquake, now he's willing to go toxic, and it does connect this time. So, where is he on soft boiled? He's got nine of them left. That should be enough, but there's certainly no such thing as too many. He's going to use one here, obviously, as the Swampert continues to attack. Perhaps Posse is content to let his Swampert go and then follow up with Aerodactyl, but there's no guarantees on that at all. The Skarm could thaw. The Swampert does still have the ability to threaten it with Surf, even though it's burnt. Posse instead changes it up and goes to his own Blissey here, trying to get his own Soft Boiled off, and indeed that is what happens here. And ABR simply re-establishing the clock by putting a Toxic on it yet again. Blissey can hang in for a little while. It's not going to really accrue to huge damage until a little bit later, but it will eventually add up. And ABR has had nothing but his Blissey doing the fighting for quite some time here. No switches, doesn't feel the need to bring anything in. ABR is fighting the good fight with the nurse, and it seems to be working. ABR is in no danger here. The only thing that actually threatens the Blissey is kind of sort of the Swampert, but not anymore because it's poisoned and it will die sooner rather than later. And of course the Aerodactyl, but the Aerodactyl without a crit cannot one-hit KO the Blissey. In fact, even with a crit, I don't know that it can. It depends on the Blissey's EVs. Uh, but more than likely, Aerodactyl would need Rock Slide flinches to get through the Blissey here, and the Aerodactyl would die from its current HP to a single Seismic Toss. So yeah, really, it looks like Blissey is going to be doing all the work here. It's been nothing but Blissey for 
I mean, it's got to be a couple dozen turns at this point for ABR. Posse switching around, trying to find an answer, and just hasn't yet. His own Blissey, we see the full set. It's a Wish Bliss, uh, wish bliss so it does not have a status move and has been unable to put any kind of meaningful pressure on the opposing Bliss, whether it's Toxic or whether it's Sing and then an Arrow Switch or anything like that. He just has not been able to pressure the other Bliss in any way. ABR is sitting here very, very healthy for a good amount of time. And Posse does go for Wish here. We'll see if he tries to pass that or if he's going to eat that himself. Like I said, Aerodactyl is at 26% and does not want to eat a Seismic Toss. And Posse decides to simply keep the Wish for himself. It is a Seismic Toss there, preventing the Aerodactyl from coming in and receiving that Wish. And the Blissey will eat it for herself, but she will still succumb to Poison Damage here, taking 18% and more on the way. It's another Seismic Toss. ABR keeping on the pressure here. The poison is starting to add up, and Posse's going to have to make decisions. He went Wish again, and he switches out at this point. He's going to try to pass it to Swampert. Has to step in on those two layers of spikes. Eats a Seismic Toss on the way in as well. Does receive the Wish, and ends up just slightly healthier than where it was to begin with, but not a huge net gain for Posse G. Going to again go with this Earthquake plan. And ABR, again, is just going to sit there and spam Softboiled as opposed to take an offensive approach. I think I would have S-Tossed there to try to force the Swampert along, but ABR sees it differently. Earthquake 33%. Now he goes s toss. I like that play. Now I would Softboiled. I mean, he's playing around a crit by doing this, but I mean, you can't Softboiled forever. He only has so many of them. He's down to five, so at some point, if he's all in on making his stand with Blissey, he's going to have to concede that there is going to be the one-off turn where there is an opportunity for a crit, and there just isn't anything you can do about that. But he seems to have defeated the Swampert here. This is an obvious Softboiled turn. Indeed, that is what he goes for. And the Blissey, once again, as it has been for most of this process, is at 100%. And down goes the Swampert. Posse down to just two Pokemon now against four from ABR. And he's resorting to Aerodactyl here looking for flinches. You cannot flinch when you don't hit. And there is the Ice Beam knockout. And that should effectively end the game. Blissey is the last poke for Posse G. And even if he were to soft boiled here, he will die eventually to the Toxic that we already know ABR's Bliss has. So we are going through the motions here. But there is no way out of this for Posse G. He is just doing this for the sake of going through the motions and for sportsmanship. But we are going to be heading any time now to a third game. The winner of which is going to be 3-0 in this tournament. One of only four players remaining in the winner's bracket. And the loser will not be out of the tournament. But will drop down into the lower bracket. And man that is a scary place to be. Given the big name players fighting for their tournament life down in that bracket. So, ABR takes this one, like I said, headed to a third game. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this game and if you've enjoyed the series so far. And a third and final game will decide it. That is coming up next.